My name is Mary Alice Hackney, and my daughter Alexandra Hackney was diagnosed with juvenile dermatomyositis at eight years old. Juvenile dermatomyositis turns a young life upside down. She went from this vibrant, healthy, energetic, athletic, young eight-year-old to somebody who couldn't even lift a hairbrush and comb her own hair. So to give you a little background of my JM story, I was eight years old when I got diagnosed. Um, and one of the first things I noticed when I was in school is when I try to put like my books in my school bag or different things, um, I it would hurt like all my fingers to touch. And I remember telling my teacher, my fingers hurt. And um, that's kind of when we noticed that something was quite right. Then she started getting her eyes, she had that heliotrope uh, rash, which her eyes were all swell, swollen and purplish, but she, at the time, she said she felt fine. We didn't notice anything else. So then finally I was like, well, maybe we'll take her to a dermatologist. And the dermatologist luckily was the one who diagnosed it because he said, he brought out a textbook, honestly, and he said, she has textbook symptoms, but this, 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 it's, dermatomyositis and you need to see a rheumatologist. I wish we had known back then there was so little information because some people go months or years without diagnosis, but we were fortunate to have him recognize it. The treatments, even though helpful, they had so many side effects. The prednisone caused her to have the moon face, gain weight everywhere very quickly, which gave her lots of stretch marks. Her growth was stunted and then also she had to take chemo drugs for a very long time and that affected her kidneys. It was very hard for me when your eight-year-old who especially loves Halloween and dress up had to come right back home because she felt too sick and too weak to go out trick-or-treating and just dreading the summer every year because the sun is such a trigger for flares and so we would stay inside with the shades pulled down if she went outside, she had to have sunglasses and a sun hat and an umbrella and covered in sun clothes. She had to decline a lot of offers from friends over the years to do things. Uh, one of the things that I always had to explain to kids when I was growing up is, why do you smell like sunblock? Or why does your face look like you got a sunburn? And sometimes I would just like, you know, be like, oh yeah, like I, I got a sunburn, that's why my cheeks are red. In seventh grade, she had a devastating big flare. She, she had really lost weight. She looked pretty, you know, normal um, without all the prednisone. She had the hump in her back and the hair and the big face. So she, she had lost a lot of that and started playing soccer again. And she was just so excited. And when she was playing soccer and running, she started having the pains in her legs. And that was like devastating because it was seventh and eighth grade for her. You know, not only is this is horrible disease and everyone can tell something is wrong with you because you look different, but you can't even participate in, you know, outdoor activities. It was just always so hard to hear people call it an orphan disease, like, you know, really nobody cares about this. I mean, I've seen so many beautiful children and met so many families over the years, and it's just so, hard to see what some of them have gone through. Some never get to remission, some have passed away, um, some have irreversible damage left by this disease. And, you know, even though my daughter is doing well now, um, and we are so grateful, but she's in remission. You know, she's not cured, so you always worry. I have been in remission for, you know, a few years now um, and still take caution when it comes to the sun. You know, I don't go out recklessly. Um, you know, I make sure to put my sunblock on when I'm going for long runs. I make sure to wear my hats and, you know, I, I don't, you know, go out and say, hey, like, I'm just going to like go get a sunburn. Like, I am cautious of it. Luckily, the past few years, I have not had a flare up with using that protection. So it took um, about 13 years to get into remission mission. Um, over the course of that time, there was some ups and downs, which basically means like sometimes, um, you know, the symptoms and everything was, you know, really controllable and I could do more with my body. And sometimes the rash was a little less and other times when um, things were a little bit worse and I was going through a flare, you know, I would need some help with from my friends or from my mom. I battled uh, both skin issues and muscle issues over 
over my 13 year battle. Fast forward to now, I am fully medication free and have been uh, for a few years now. I live in New York City with my boy from Roddy, who's on the call, <laughs> uh, of almost six years. Um, and I work for um, a charter school in New York City uh, called Success Academy. And it wasn't until about three years ago that we were in Chicago and we were supporting a friend who was running the Chicago Marathon. And Ryder and I were hanging out afterwards. And, you know, I kind of said, you know, we, we could do something like this. And in the beginning, it was definitely more than tough. The feeling in my legs was very triggering because it reminded me of the feeling of being weak. And uh, now Ryder and I have ran um, a full marathon and a half marathon. We ran the uh, New York City Marathon together. And throughout the training, when it got really tough, you know, I always thought of that, you know, my fourth grade self and, you know, what she was battling at that time. And, you know, that running the marathon and doing all these trainings and um, doing everything was nothing in comparison to what my elementary school self did and uh, what I went through all those years. I'm just so thankful today that like my body uh, allows me to run. And if I could battle JDM for all those years, I could do this and I can do anything. These children really need and their families need hope that there will be a cure for JM. Even though it's a lesser known disease, it's a terribly brutal disease on children. Right now there are no FDA approved medications for juvenile dermatomyositis. It's an orphan disease. No one puts research into it, but we can change that and JM is starting to change that. Like many rare diseases, juvenile myositis research is only made possible by friends and family like you. Please make a gift today. Your gift will help us pursue promising new treatments, fund clinical trials, expand care to children across the country and beyond. Your gift will make all this progress possible. And gifts made before July 4th will be matched by the Leeds Family Match in honor of Walk Strong Across America. Thank you so much for giving hope. Hope for better treatments, hope for better care, hope for a cure.